look like Memo 600 then ended that whole clubhouse run. I don't think he own that shit no more. Um, he posted a video of him basically going to the app and deleting it. I don't know who pissed him off. I don't know who ran him off this shit. I don't know if he was ran off. He might have got tired of that shit, you know. A lot of people been saying a lot of bad things about Memo and Clubhouse. Maybe that shit getting to him, or maybe he just ain't got no time for that shit no more. That shit bring a lot of bad energy, too. You know, in my opinion, I think I think Memo might have gained more enemies and more ops on Clubhouse than he did on YouTube, you know? That app shit was just strong, and it was easy for regular people to kind of, you know, tilt you into an argument, tilt you into some disrespect and shit like that. You know, Memo 600 became enemy of the state. You know, we seen a lot of shit about Memo 600 and rumors about him and OTL, but that shit was stemmed through that clubhouse. We seen him getting into it with his own guys, beefing with Barney, throwing shots at everybody and shit. You know, a lot of what went on on the personal side got leaked on clubhouse. So a lot of shit we wouldn't know in the culture without clubhouse, in my opinion, you know. I think Memo realized it was probably time to get off that shit, but then again, that clubhouse shit gained him that momentum. Memo been buzzing, doing half a million views and quarter million views in a day. And I think a lot of that came with the publicity he was getting with Clubhouse, you know. Good publicity, bad publicity, this shit sells, in my opinion. But I do think Clubhouse made it dangerous for Memo 600. He got a lot of enemies. He got the ops. He got his own homies and all kind of shit. You know, it's people acting like they waiting on him to come to Chicago. It's people saying they going to fuck him up. They see him. Death threats, all kind of shit. So I think Memo 600 probably realized he done gained an enemy every day since he'd have been on that Clubhouse, in my opinion. I'm not sure if this was for the clout. He just did that because he know people watching this clubhouse and all his social media. So he just did some shit for people who want to do a story about. But I kind of feel like clubhouse kind of maybe pushed Memo to the side of saying, I'm going to chill out on this shit for a minute. I don't know him deleting. It means he done. Because, you know, I think clubhouse has made Memo 600 a lot of money in my opinion. That's just in my opinion. But I do think it made him an enemy of the state. This guy got more ops than a lot of people. I remember, like, Capo. Capo had, like, all Glow Gang ops. He had, like, all Lil Dirk ops, the O Blocks. Then he had all No Limit ops and, you know, the Pocket Town people and Sircon City. And, you know, that guy had a lot of fucking enemies out here in the city. And Memo 600 is almost in that lane, in my opinion. Um... Subscribe to my YouTube channel, man. Make sure y'all hit the like button. Turn me up on the likes. I'll be watching my videos, man. I don't be having that many likes on my shit. Like, y'all beat me up and shit, man. Uh, I appreciate the love. I ain't asking for no donations, man. Just make sure y'all turn me up on the likes, man. It's the homie true.